Hi guys. Um, recently I found out uh, you guys just cannot read the I uh, MMD physics. So I uh, I want to take pic a step by step picture, but it's too many. So I decided to record a video for you. Yeah. Um. So basically. Uh, you just have to convert your BRM and then use a plugin, not plugin, a software named PMX Taylor to add your physics. So, I uh, sorry for my messy desktop. Yeah, so first we use this, we write to PMX and then you just drag your BRM here. So, here yeah, I have a testing BRM, drag it in. And then run Vroid to PMX. Uh, it takes a couple of time. I uh, sometimes a minute, sometimes few minutes. Not be too long. Uh, if the model is from Vroid, it should be okay. But if you're using custom VRM, then I'm not sure. Sometimes will fail. But if a uh, Vroid model, uh, it should not have any problem. Okay, now you can see it's success. So you can find your uh, converted folder here. Looks like this. And looks like this, you will see the PMX. And then we will see a folder named PMX Taylor. So this is uh, basically just the physics data for your model. So now we just go to the second one, this one. PMX Taylor and then we open up the folder we just convert it and then drag in your PMX and then I uh, click run okay once it ran it will it will show error but it's okay okay you'll go to the second tab para adjustment and then you go to this one we write to PMX configuration import. And then you will see uh, this one is for the skirt, this one is for the uh, boobs, and uh, the rest are the um, hair, and uh, maybe you have a couple layers of clothes, and then it will be have a couple layers of physics. So you uh, I take all of them and then click OK, and then you need time to run a bit. Okay, and then you'll give you a message say the setting is successful and then click OK and then go back to the file tab and then click run again. And then now the software will automatically add the physics uh, into your uh, PMX model. So basically this is, yeah, there's not one click but it's way more easier to rig it in PMX editor uh, manually. I will do it manually but um, I think most of you guys is not familiar with MMD so yeah, this is the most uh, convenient way to do it. Okay, now uh, is it success? And then you can see you will have a new PMX file uh, at the bottom and then with a bunch of is a date and, and numbers. So this one, this file is contain the uh, physics. So uh, you can open up your PME. Uh, okay. Wait. Okay, so you can drag the file in. Okay. So you can see, uh, you go to the Reggie Body tab. See, you have all the physics here. So I uh, go to Test. Now click Play. See, you have the physics here. 
uh, the hair is uh, not so um, pretty because my hair is so long and I will rake it uh, manually like the plucking I have shared recently I uh, maybe I can I can I can show you how to use the plugin here too yeah. so uh, here you have to click this one rigid body tab and then you go to edit go to your plugin and then open up the rigid body chain edit open it up and then if you want the physics like mine uh, you can just go to this one no gravity and then this one normally long hair i put three short hair i put 1.1 or two okay so now you can see uh the hair hair um this one four four zero four to zero one until two zero four see this one is the physics for the ribbon okay i need the i need the long hair okay here okay if you select all the uh the chain your whole chain of your hair like number one hair the whole chain of number one hair and then here you put three and then here you put um no gravity and then you click start okay if if it's ready and uh it will have a thing sound i don't know how to say it so after it's done it, you, you can see the difference oh i'm sorry and, and another thing is you have to go to your join and then you're gonna find out the this one your hair the the, the one you have edited the number one hair and then you have to clear this one you just click uh oh my god i, I just found out i didn't have the this cursor wait okay oh my god okay. you, this one you just click oh, this one click you clear it out and then you go back to test you will see Ta -da! You, you see only only one strain of hair is different you see it <laughs> yeah that's it this is how how i use the plugin so i continue to do the rest of it and then you can see the different Okay, I'm done here. So you can see the hair physics looks like this right now. It's way more similar to uh, Vroid physics. Or if you're interested to rig it manually, you can find plenty of uh, tutorial on YouTube. But this is the method I love to use. It's so convenient and this looks so good. It just looks so good for long hair. Maybe short hair is not that suitable, but long hair just so good. You see how they, how flowy are the hair. Okay, that's it for today. <laughs> Sounds like I'm streaming. Okay, that's for uh, today's tutorial. Thank you for watching and have well have fun with your model. Okay, bye bye.